that shirt collar wants to spring me back. Kind of like how a slingshot works. Right, get that nice low touch, throws me back. I don't have to consciously worry as much about trying to throw back early. Um, that's already kind of going to be in place with... Hey guys, Coach Ben here, BigBenches.com, and today I'm going to go over how I like to position my bench shirt here in order to get an easy touch and a better groove. Alright, so I'm going to show you the differences in how you can maneuver your shirt here in order to do any of these things. So, I'm going to throw this on real quick. This is a really loose shirt for me. So I can slip right into this, this puppy here. This is a really big shirt for me. So you can see I got into the arms. I want to make sure my elbows are exposed here. Uh, we need to make sure the elbows are exposed. I'm trying to, uh, if you have a good tight shirt, all right, you want to try to get this seam all the way up as possible. So I would have someone or do this myself, punch into the sleeves as much as you can. All right, and I would try to get the barbell knurling right on this armpit swim into it even more okay have someone pull down the chest plate just a little bit or right, if you have a good tight shirt the hardest part getting a touch okay the lower we wear the collar the lower down the arm this seam is the harder that's gonna be okay so it's not gonna be conducive for us if we pull this down with a good tight shirt so it depends where you are in your break-in process all right now if you have a shirt that's good broken in enough that you can jack it up a bit pull it down the shirt sleeves here and still be able to get a touch okay then let's do that one of the ways that I like to wear my shirt is every time I leave my collar high and I leave these way up I struggle a lot with the groove as a flat backed bencher you may not have as much trouble but when you're in this big arch here and this collar starts to ride up on you and stays high in the chest right if you come down a little bit too low to where you should go with the bar but the collar is just not catching right all right if it's down here it's going to stretch much better over that arch i'm going to start losing pop if i go too low here and then i'm going to struggle to throw the bar back so every time I've ever had my shirt collar high, I've really had to focus on throwing the bar back. And I sometimes will end up getting pitted into my shoulders. It's a tough groove when this isn't pulled down. But you're going to be able to get an easier touch than having all that resistance stopping you. How I like to wear the shirt for my big attempts, right? I position them myself. I like to position my own shirt. Uh, typically, I, I know where I want the shirt. I can maneuver those little things myself. So what I do is first I take the tricep seam. All right, it's up high right here now. I like to go really low. I'm someone that likes to wear my shirt sleeves very, very low. I love being able to get that weight out, drive right into that material. I really set a real hard spread out. Okay, that creates stability for me. So I like to take this seam and I'll really drag it down the arm, okay? Depending on how tight my shirt is, you know, at the meet, I can only do this so much because if I'm working with a really tight shirt at the meet, then I still want to be able to touch, okay? So I'm going to drag this down. All right, just about right there. So I went from upper tricep, now I'm down to about a middle tricep there. Okay, I'm going to take the collar take the shirt here arch back pull down okay it's just so it's covering my nippies lower chest all right in this position this is where I can get a good throw with the shirt this pits me in an awesome groove I can ride this bar down down tuck into it and then it wants to spring me back because I'm in that high arch that shirt collar wants to spring me back kind of like how a slingshot works all right get that nice low touch throws me back I don't have to consciously worry as much about trying to throw back early. Uh, that's already kind of going to be in place with um, 
you know everything jacked up as such okay um, especially with the shirt sleeves down I love the extra stability I can get for that so I'm someone who you know I, I'll be real gracious with how much I pull these shirt, uh, shirt sleeves down right I'll get these things really low for all that support all right guys so that's where you can wear your shirt an easy touch and then once you get more comfortable getting down with the bar obviously more weight will help too jack this shirt up a little bit if you're an arch bencher that's going to help a lot with your bar groove thanks for watching if you enjoyed the video subscribe to the channel over here you can check out a video related on the topic over here and the most recent video down here and if you're interested in joining our online coaching program you can check out the link in the description box